Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Morning. Good, Good evening. evening. How are Good you weekend. today? Uh, I got flu. Very uh, strong flu. A terrible <laughs> flu. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Sí, me pegó súper duro. No. Hasta la cabeza me duele. A headed. <laughs> oh my God. You ready? No. No, no ready. <laughs> no ready. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ay, yes. Get ready, teacher. Get ready, Not teacher. ready. Teacher. Santi, ¿qué onda, Santi? Good evening, guys. Mira, que lo, mira por la punta izquierda y llega Santi. Aficionados que viven la intensidad del fútbol. Teacher, how are you? <laughs> y Armando, para... ¿Qué? <laughs> Mero Santi. Llega el biznero. Good evening, guys. Good evening. How are you? Not bad. You? Yeah. I, but I'm here. What? We, we start to record. With Star Records. Veamos. Mm, empecemos a grabar. Go ahead. Yeah. Morena Guadalupe. <clears throat> Hi, good evening. Welcome. Hoy el teacher está mudo. Puro texto, ¿está? Yeah. Hoy Marvin está en el búnker. Marvin, Marvin está mal, mal, mal. El psicote está enfermo, pobrecito. Yeah. Por eso estamos aquí en el búnker. En el búnker. You really the mute. Se enfermo el teacher o como de la garganta o como qué? I don't know. No. I don't know. No, I pero think... le escuché bien. Ah, sí. Hello guys, good evening. Everybody, welcome. <laughs> good evening teacher. Hello <laughs> guys, we're back to Yeah. Existe. It's, it's exactly the time guys. So, we're going to start like, introduce today. So welcome to all of you to our English classes, actually, uh, like every day. A nice opportunity to improve and practice English. We have like a very huge and very important uh, responsibility to, you know, do our best in our English classes. So we feel really good for that. So welcome. And I just hope that you had a good time and that you have practiced English. That is one of the things that we really love. So, you know, are you ready? Yes, ready, teacher. teacher. I'm ready, teacher. That's what I love. We're ready. We are ready to win. We're ready to succeed. That's nice. So before that we start the class, I always, always ask, what do you remember that we started in the last class? Okay, ¿qué estudiamos? The last class. No remember. <laughs> no remember today. Jerome <laughs> uh, Frises. Suffix. Okay. Jerome Frises. Subject, the objects. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Subject, object, prices. 
Adverbial sí. phrases with okay. when. To fix it. To fix. Okay, that makes sense to me. Yeah, definitely that there are great topics that, that as one of my personal advices, the best way is to practice. And because we always use them in a conversation, in sentences, but in the real practice is, is something that we need to do, right? Because we're good for that one, but we need to, in the practice, uh, try to get that part. So that's right. So congratulations, because you have been very active and you have participated actively in the class. And that's what we love. We try to make the difference in what we do. Okay. So we have a great uh, topic for this class today. And, and this is the topic that I will share to, do, to you is the section number three. And also the equation, the statement, or the main idea about this section is, could you do me a favor? Especially when we ask people to do something for us, when we request someone for help because we're doing something, because we're busy. Um, so we just, could you do me a favor? That's the main topic. And also it's a very, very formal sentence because we are like trying to request help of someone in life. We always need help from people. So for this one, we have the first activity. And also you can see that it says, could you do me a favor? Okay, look at this one. Favor pe favors people dislike being asked. Look at that one. Okay, who wants to help me to read the information in the chart? Who wants to read? Um, hello? Uh, who wants to help me to read the chart? The favors. The favors. Yes, yes. Favor people dislike being is asked, could you let me use your car? Drive me to the airport? Lend me some money? Lend me your harvest? Take care of my pet while I am away? Help me? Movie move into my new apartment. Let me borrow your homework. Let me stay stay at your place for a way. Continue. Yes. Uh, which of of these favors? Will better do the most, which will better do the less, the, the less or least. What are what are three other favors that you dislike paying? Ask, ask. Imagine that a close train. Ask you each of these papers what would you say? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is okay. It's it's great. So um we can uh, appreciate here favors that people dislike being asked. For example, imagine when somebody asks you for for using your car. I'm sorry, my friend. I have I have a situation and I just want to know if you can borrow me your car. And you're like, oh my God, it's my car. And I don't know if my friend is going to take care of all my car. And it's something that people don't like to borrow, don't like to lend because maybe they can, you know, have an accident with your, your car. So and drive me to the airport. It also, it, people don't like to do that one. It's like, okay, te de ir hasta el aeropuerto. So people, they don't like to, you know, to uh, to give favors and lend some money. Okay, could you lend me, could you borrow me $20? Could you borrow me $100? And 
And you're like, okay, but you pay me, please. So some people don't like to borrow money. Um, and also lend me your hairbrush. It's like not hygienic or not appropriate to, to borrow the, the hairbrush and take care of dogs and while I'm away. So there are most common things that people most of the time experience. And what I want you to do is in a short time, I want you to think about these questions and we're gonna try to give an answer. After that, it will take a time to socialize the answers. Which of these favors will, would bother you the most? ¿Cuál de estos favores son los que, pues, bother significa molestar? ¿Te molesta más? Um, in my case, maybe take care of the pet, maybe, or also uh, drive me to the airport, maybe, I don't know. Help me to move a new apartment it could be also difficult for me. Which would bother you the least? ¿Y cuál es el que menos te dificulta? Por ejemplo, your hairbrush. I don't have problems with that. Um, let's see. Let me stay out uh, at your place for a while. I don't think so. It's so bad. What are three other favors that you dislike being asked? ¿Cuál de, ¿Cuáles son otros tres favores que a ti no te gustaría pues, que te pidieran? ¿Qué otras cosas? ¿Qué cosas pudiera agregar ahí? And imagine that, that a close friend asks you each of these favors. What would you say? Imagínate que tu, un amigo cercano te pidiera alguna de estas cosas o de estos favores, ¿qué le dirías? Entonces, le voy a dar unos minutitos para que piense y luego vamos a socializar en, en pequeños grupos with the goal that you can produce the language, you can practice. If you have questions about vocabulary, you can ask questions and I will more than glad to help you. As you get everybody answer these questions. Let's go.
Okay. Um, do you have any question or doubt about the this exercise or vocabulary that perhaps is unknown for you to ask? No teacher, for example, in the first one, uh, that's okay is if I say, when someone borrowed my car. Okay, it's, it's okay for me or it's, it's a problem. What do you think? No, no. Uh, yes, and the which will bother you the less. Uh, my case, when someone borrowed my car and when someone borrowed my money. It's not a problem. It's okay for you. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, it's your perspective. That That's okay. Yeah, the, perhaps there are some things that maybe for you are like normal, but some others, like, I do not like it too much. So, it's depending the circumstances and also how close are your friends because... There are some people that are not friends, but are acquaintance. And there are some people that they are like best friends, like brothers or sisters. So you can say, you know, your best friend comes to you and say, you know what? I have a situation. Can you lend me your car for a moment? And obviously that you will give the keys. Okay, take the car because, you know, no problem for me because it's your best friend. So you trust this person yes. and you support. So that depends on the circumstances that uh, you are talking about. Sorry, teacher. Yes. I don't understand. It's a say what's brother me only. Yeah, the, the yes, the questions. Yeah, the questions that are here, so you had to answer according to the favors people dislike being asked. But only dislike. Yeah, so check the questions. Which of these uh, favors would bother you the most? And also, what are three other favors that you dislike being asked? And imagine that a close friend asks you each of these favors. What would you say? So those are the questions that you have to answer. Oh, just that, but I don't know if you, that was clear for you? More or less. Es decir, ahí están las preguntas que usted tiene que contestar relacionados a los, a los favores que están ahí.
Okay, almost ready. Okay, almost ready, guys? Ready. Okay, great. So we will take a short time, less than four minutes, to discuss these questions with your partners. So don't forget that you have to uh, focus about these questions. And we will create the breakout rooms with three or four members at least. So we opened in and you had to um, discuss these questions with your partners, okay? I will give you some minutes and remember, the most important is that you can practice your English, practice the pronunciation, practice the accent, practice different things, because those are the spaces to produce the language, right? So don't use don't Spanish. Don't don't use Spanish, remember, because in Spanish we speak Spanish all the time, but English we don't practice English very often. So take advantage with English, not a Spanish. Okay, let's go. And the phone, yeah. I don't candy, like candy, candy Crush and another play. Yes. <laughs> okay, and and three, can I get dinner at your home? Que alguien se invite solo y me diga, hey, podemos cenar en tu casa. Uh, yeah, well, I, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine that a close friend asks your each of these favor what do you say ¿Qué le diría yes. un amigo que le pide eso? Uh -huh. i would say le diría so sorry but i i can't Lo siento pero no puedo mm -hmm. close friend close friend amigo cercano uh -huh. si te pidiera lo que me dijiste la de <laughs> money for example so sorry so maybe, maybe depends. Maybe. It depends. But the take care of the pet. <laughs> Not really. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. I, I, I don't like the pets. No. Okay. Okay. 
Let's continue. Anything okay. else? That's okay. it. I I believe there are some favorites that you can grant to just any friend, such as Mm, lending a considerable amount of the money. Okay. Lending a considerable of amount of the money. Mm. Um, service a cousinger on on a loan on a loan. Uh, servir o ser un firmante de un crédito. Ah, fiador. O un codeudor. Uh -huh. uh, be a good father to the child. Oh, it's compromise. Yes, that's right. Um, lend my house for party? Not. Not really. Not really, I know. Yeah. Only. That's it. In yeah, my case, only. and the, the slide, for example, is the, when someone borrowed my shoes. Oh. I don't <laughs> like it. I don't like it. When someone borrowed my cat. Yes. And no. when someone borrow my tools, because always, no me la regresan. <laughs> Lend me a, a 15. <laughs> the K15. <laughs> imagine, imagine that a close friend asks your age of this favor. What would you say? Hmm. Como dijo el teacher, si es cercano, bien cercano. Mm, yes, but you can use. En el caso de mi cepillo, de my, my hairbrush, for example. And si me pide que lo lleve al aeropuerto, ah, no, no hay ningún problema. Eso sí. But on the flavor, no, really. If you a close friend... Uh, what? Uh, one thousand dollars. If, si los tengo. <laughs> okay, you are good friend. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Sí, okay. tiene que ser mi 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 mejor amigo, ¿verdad? o sea, de los más cercanos. Yeah. De lo contrario, no, no really. Um, yeah. I think there are that I think I I think there are I I think that can be down depending on the degree of of truth. The mm -hmm. only person that can be provided with Everything is the parent, um, mm. the wife, and the son. Really? In the situation, too? Uh, is my family the, the experience? Or your parents? <laughs> yes. <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> Calm down. Como sea, hold your hold your horse. Como sea, hold your horses. Hold your horses. Oh. <laughs> Breathe. In That's this right. case, let me borrow your homework. Um. Uh, that uh, we we do uh, sometimes. The yeah. homework. The homework. Pasamos la tarea nosotros. <laughs> Sometimes, depending. Sometimes. Who is <laughs> the people?
okay, we continue, guys, with the following part of this uh, class, and we had a conversation. And you can see, like, a possible question there that says, would you mind? In that case, what we have here is a conversation. We're going to read it and try to answer some questions about it. Hello. With the conversation is between Rod and Jane, Jenna. Hello. Hi, Rod. This is Jenna. Oh, hi, Jenna. What's up? I'm going to my best friend's wedding this weekend. I love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrowed your new digital camera? No, that's okay. I guess I don't think I'll need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Um, have you used a digital camera before? It's sort of complicated. Sure, a couple of times, would it be okay? If I pick it up on Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. Look at the equation and tell me, what do you understand about this conversation? What is this conversation about? So check again and give me some ideas about it, please. Uh, I think... Uh... Uh, Hannah, uh, you want the take pictures for the party? Jana want uh, a camera, a digital camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also that something that attracts my attention is that this person request a digital camera. But something interesting about this is that the way how the person requested, would you mind if I borrow your new digital camera? So would you mind, it, it's a way to ask a question. Sounds very interesting because it's very formal. So you say, would you mind to, uh, would you mind if I borrow your new digital camera? Oh, sure, use a digital camera before. Okay, so you can see the way how we can ask this question. Would you mind if I use your cell phone? ¿Te importaría ese would you mind? Es como decir, hey, ¿te importaría que, que usara tu celular? Eh, ¿Te importaría que usara tu carro? Would you mind if I use your car? Would you mind if I use your cell phone? It's an expression to to request something to someone we know. And um, that's why you will listen people using this question because it's related to our request. It's about a practice. And also we have some expressions requests with models, if closes or gerunds. So we have a formal and the less formal. As you see, we can ask different things. Who wants to help me to read, please? Me, me, teacher. Me teacher. Okay, oh, thank you. Okay. Eh, Santiago. No, let's go, Jaime. Let's go, Jaime. Thank you. Eh, grammar focus request with models, if clauses, endurance. Just, just that. And the sentences. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay? Is it okay if I use your, your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD partner? Would it be okay if I picked if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? Would you mind would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I I wonder if I could borrow some money. I was wondering if you'd mind lending lending me your car. Okay, that's, that's great. Yes. yes, so we can see that from the less formal to the more formal. Can I can I borrow your pencil? And also could and also can we use could 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 you open the door? Could you borrow me some money? Could you borrow me your cell phone? 
is it okay if I use your phone? There are like ways to ask questions to request something. Uh, it is okay if I use your phone. Está bien si uso tu teléfono. Do you mind if I use your city burner? Um, ¿Te importaría ese uso tu quemador de CDs? W would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? ¿Estaría bien si lo recojo el viernes en la noche? Y vea la palabra, would, you, would it be okay? Como que, como que usted diga, hey, estaría bien pues, que me puedas prestar tu carro. Would, would, would it be okay if I use your car? And also some sentences here. And, and would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. And I was wondering if I, if you mind lend me your new car. And en este caso vamos a hacer algo bien práctico. Vamos a trabajar en el siguiente, en la siguiente oración. May request. En este caso, pues, usando estas palabras. Va a formar oraciones. You want to borrow your classmates underwater camera for a diving trip. I was wondering, y usted va a completar, ¿cómo podría ser la pregunta? La número dos, it is okay, y usted piensa, ¿cómo podría formar la pregunta? La número tres, your neighbor has a car and you need a ride to class. Eh, ¿Cómo podría formular ahí la, la, la idea? You want a friend to, to, uh, to help you to move on Saturdays. Um, ¿Y cómo podría hacerle la pregunta? Entonces, lo voy a dejar a su creatividad para que usted en unos minutitos trate de formar preguntas para poder solicitar eso y luego pues socializamos las respuestas. Okay, look at this one. And I was like uh, checking the first example, like I you want to borrow your classmates underwater camera for a diving trip. And um and you were thinking like I was wondering if you could I, I was wondering if you could borrow me your underwater camera for a personal trip. And the other person will say, like, sure, that's fine, but please be careful with it. So you can also say that, you know, I was wondering if you can borrow me um, or you can lend me your uh, camera because it's very interesting. Y tenemos dos palabras, dos important clues. Una que es lend, que es como prestar, y la otra es borrow. La borrow es la acción cuando pedimos prestado, es decir, yo tengo una cámara. Y alguien la quiere, entonces yo, I lend, es decir, yo presto, yo se la doy. Pero si usted pide, entonces usted va a usar borrow, porque es el verbo de solicitar. Y el verbo lend mm -hmm. es el de prestar. That's the difference between lend and borrow. Mm -hmm. You can Thank check. You, teacher. 
Yes, you can check the chat also the words. Okay, so let's see some possible examples. We go with the first one. If you can also write in the chat your your answer, that would be great. Okay, number one, and what answers do you have for the first situation that you want to borrow your classmates underwater camera 
for a diving trip? How would you respond to this question? How can you uh, request? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la número uno? I was wondering, borrow me, you, you're on the water camera. Mm -hmm. It's correct, teacher. Oh, I was wondering if, if you. Mm, if, if you borrow me, mm -hmm. you're underwater camera, camera. Okay. Uh, for, for me, I, I was wondering uh, lending, uh -huh. lending me your underwater camera. Okay. For me, it's lending. Como en este caso, lend es que yo presto. I can lend you. Yo puedo prestarte. Okay. I can lend you $20. Pero cuando yo pido es borrow. Can you borrow me? Okay. Yeah, so borrow. that is that is the, the way in this statement. Okay, number two. You want to use your roommate's computer. It is okay. If I use... Mm -hmm. If I use computer. Okay, it is okay if I can use your computer. Your computer. Y la respuesta es you can use it, but please say my it. work first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's great. So actually it's great for the number two. Any other idea about the number two? Okay, what about the number three? Help me with the number three. Your neighbor has a car. You need a ride to class. I have one example for number three. Could you take me to my class in your car? I really need it. Seria. Okay. Could, yes, yes. Could, could you tell me? Perdón. I'm sorry, could you take me to my class in your car? I really need it. Okay, also you can use, could you uh, could sure. you give me a ride to to class or something like that, right? Because you, you, you mean, could you give me a ride to my class or to class? I'll be glad to, what time? Next. Okay, thank you. Number four. Number four. You want Could a friend you... to help you move on Saturday. Could you help me... Uh... I move on Saturday. To move on on Saturday. To move mm -hmm. on. I have a similar example. Okay. For the number four. Would you help me to move on Saturday? If that's mm -hmm. the example. Yeah, of Would course. Have, yes. Number five. Next. You want to borrow your cousin's DVDs of Spider Man? It's, it's okay so if I say, do you mind if I've used your CD Spider-Man? It's okay. Yes, of course. And the answer could be actually, um, 
I already lent it to so, Serain, sorry. Ahí es donde ocupa la palabra. En realidad, eh, ya se lo presté. Por eso dice la palabra, I already lent, porque yo lo doy. Ya se lo presté a Serena. I, I already lent it to Serena. Sorry. Number six. You would like a second piece of your uncle's cherry pie. Would you like, um, would you like uh, um, give me a second piece? A second piece? I'm sorry, could you repeat? Um, would you mind? Would you mind uh, give me a second piece? Cherry pie. <laughs> No sé, teacher. Si va a utilizar la estructura uh -huh. would, recuerda uh -huh. que podría ser would you mind letting uh, okay. uh, would you mind giving me o would you, would you mind if I entonces puede ser que would you mind uh, giving me would you uh -huh. mind taking would you mind driving would you mind getting uh -huh. entonces eh, puede ser esa opción. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Quick, quick question. This document is in the WhatsApp group or? Yes. Or I do, yes. It's right there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and also we see the next, and oh, well, the answer is like, Yes, of course. Just pass me your plate. <coughs> and you can share the pie, the sherry pie. Okay, look at the last activity before we conclude. Um, let's see. Dina, Elizabeth, can you help me to read the instruction? microphone excuse me uh, rewrite this request to make them more formal then practice making your request with a partner a set on the clean each request continues Oh, that's okay. So in that case, as she said, that we had to rewrite this question, request to make them more formal. Decir, la vamos a hacer más formales. Imagínese que yo le digo, hey, lend me some money for an expresso. Es como que te diga, préstame dinero para, el, para un expresso. Entonces mm -hmm. es muy informal. Es como que yo te esté, no te esté solicitando. O sea, te estoy pidiendo. Así como que con autoridad, entonces es muy informal entonces usted tiene que reescribirlas y tiene que darles ya un toque más formal, una, una solicitud más formal uh, take these books back to the library for me let me wear your letter jacket to the party this weekend I like to borrow your cell phone to call my friend in London can I look at the newspaper when you have finished reading it and uh, take care of my pet rabbit while I'm on vacations entonces, pues, usted tiene que escribirlas eh, en forma de pregunta más formales porque están muy informales. And that's what you had to do. You had to write them more formal. Like the ones we have in the previous exercise. So I will give you this time to, to do it and try to write them in a formal way. And meanwhile, you do this, I will take advantage to, Passing the attendant list. Yes? Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, yes, thank teacher. you. Thank you, guys. Well, I'm going to change my screen because I need to, to look for the attendant list.
Okay, you listen to your name and you say present, please. Sure. Let's see. Yes. Um, Brigitte Lise Terrazzo. Brigitte? Present, teacher. Present. Uh, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present, teacher. Uh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Edith Araceli Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks. Eduardo Alexander Díaz. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Elvis Aníbal Rauda. Present. Uh, Emerson Alexander Mejía. Present teacher. Thanks. Eneida Jamilet González. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana. Present. Uh, Javier Ernesto Lucero. Eh, Karen eh, Suleima Ceseña Present eh, Laura Michelle Present teacher eh, María Catalina Corea María um, Marvin Fernando Marcel. Present teacher. Thanks. Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Alberto Rodriguez. Oscar. Present teacher. Raquel Arely Santos. And present teacher. Thanks. Santiago Antonio Chavez. Present teacher. Thanks. And Sara Nalda Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, students, I'm checking right here that uh, because of the time, we won't be able to complete the exercise, but it sounds very interesting. And in tomorrow's class, we will take a short time to express our ideas about how to transfer or rewrite these equations or these statements in our formal way. So we will take a short time to do that one tomorrow early. And don't forget to look for the best answers, uh, especially for this one. What is the goal about these statements that we can also use formal vocabulary, especially when we are in a conversation? And it's always necessary to, you know, to use formal vocabulary, and especially in a real conversation. So um, I don't know if you have any question before we finished, question or doubt. Oh, is Question that okay? No, no, really, thank teacher. you, teacher. Okay, guys, congratulations always because of your responsibility and I hope to see you in tomorrow's class. So have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Thanks.